Yo, what's up guys? I'm playing again on my mini account that I recently upgraded to level 14. I'm going to try to push the top 100 in this video. So if you enjoy, please like and subscribe. And um, this guy plays Giant Graveyard. Um, his name is Graveyard, so he's obviously terrible. Um, guess I could just cycle guards here. I don't really have like much of a play. He plays Giant Graveyard, Bowler, Arrows, Night Witch, Archer Queen, Skeleton Army, and Snowball. He has the Archer Queen for bats, so... I think bats would be harder to win because you have to use your E-Spear on the Graveyard and the Night Witch. Um, I'm just going to cycle my log here. and Okay, he Giants to back at the same time, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, I'm just going to go Valkyrie into the Giant. And then I'm going to have to Tesla low. If he just goes for a Graveyard, then I'll have to like Guards, Princess, E-Spear, and Log because Graveyard's broken. Um, okay, I'm just going to Rocket this and Night Witch here. And I'm not going to Tesla. There's no really point to. Um, okay, I'm just going to E-Spirit here on this Giant to make sure it doesn't get any hits. Um, okay, he goes for a Bowler. I'm just going to Princess on the Bowler. Actually, I'm going to Goblin Barrel because he doesn't have, um, Skeleton Army or Snowball, so he's forced to Arrows. Then I can Princess, so he doesn't Arrows to Princess. So it's a bit better for me to Goblin Barrel first to make it hard for him to defend the Princess. I'm going to take these two Bowler shots and go for Valk Guards at the bridge. Especially, yeah, because... He's, he doesn't have arrows or bowlers, so, and he has archer queens, so, like, he has, like, a really bad deck to stop this with no arrows or bowler. What? Oh my, no. This guy always plays with archer queen, but for some reason he put in bats and, uh, completely ruined my idea. <laughs> it's so unfortunate. Because if he had archer queen there i was gonna take like almost his whole tower because he wouldn't have any way to defend that push which is really unfortunate because this is like a terrible matchup already but okay i didn't want a goblin barrel anyway i guess um i i, I guess draglet said no um i'm gonna go for a princess here guards in the corner as well guards before the princess because when he arrows i want to cycle to a second set of guards um i'm gonna tesla oh my battery's charged Usually my phone's always dying, so it's nice that it's finally charged in a video. Um, I can guards here because he doesn't have arrows, and I can princess as well. Um, okay, I took quite a bit of damage still. Um, I need to go for Valk on this. Actually, I'm going to Tesla this. Um, I'm going to go for an E-Spirit over here, then Tesla. <laughs> nice bats. <laughs> I'm just going to go for a... Rocket here on this giant because he did those amazing pads. <laughs> he goes for a bowler. <laughs> uh, I can go for a Valk on the graveyard. Then I can go for E Spirit and then guards on the on the bowler. <laughs> Missed the arrows on the E Spirit. Okay. <laughs> um. I need to go for a barrel here, but it's kind of weird because he has bowler. Okay. I think he's going to Skeleton Army, but that's why I put it over there. He goes for Snowball and then Skeleton Army, but he put all of that and he still let me get a, sh a shot on the tower. <laughs> and go for a uh, Goblin Barrel. He's going to... Okay. Um, so can Princess here on these bats. Okay, he goes for a Naked Graveyard into a Valkyrie. <laughs> He isn't even putting his graveyard in the right spot. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Like, the matchup's so bad that, like, he doesn't even put his win condition in the right spot. And he's, like, almost winning. It's kind of crazy, actually. It's E-Spirit here. He's gonna... I'm gonna guards back here, because he's gonna graveyard. And I could go for Barrel and Valk. I need to log. And then I can go Valk on top of the bowler. I'm going to E-Spirit in the front just in case one spawns there. And uh, I'm somehow losing now. I don't understand. I'm going to go for a pre-log though. He might scar me. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm going to rock the tower here because I need to get back to a second one. Or I just need to defend. Oops. Okay, <laughs> he graveyard in the wrong spot again. So I think I'm actually able to defend. I think. Let me log. I'm going to go guards as well. Then I need to Tesla up top to catch this bowler. And then I, I need to, like, go for, like, these to get the bowler off my tower. Come on, please. Nice! <laughs> You're so bad. How do you lose that? 
Damn, that's it's just embarrassing. That's like the worst matchup in the game. <laughs> wow, giant graveyard players, man. <laughs> I'm in the next match against EA Alex. Um, I actually hate this guy. Um, he just always BMs for no reason when he his main deck is giant graveyard. So if I win, I'm gonna BM him. Um. Okay, he has Log and Royal Ghost this time, so I guess he's not playing Giant Graveyard. Um, I'm just going to go for a Valk here on this Ghost. Like, I really, really hate this guy. He's probably like my least, my like most hated player in Clash Royale. Um, I'm just going to Log here on this Ghost and the Fisherman. Um, I can go for E-Spirit here on the Hunter, then I can go for Guards Tesla on the RG. Um, this guy is really, really bad, though, so, like, expect him to make a bunch of misplays, because, like, he mains Giant Graveyard, and then he's not even playing his main deck, so, inherently, being a terrible player who plays that kind of deck, he's going to make even more mistakes with, like, RG. <laughs> um, it's kind of a weird spot. Okay, I'm just going to Valkyrie on this Ghost. I think he has RG, Lightning, and I assume he has a Queen as well, because he usually runs Queen and Giant Graveyard, so it would make no sense not to run it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> nice Archer Queen. <laughs> this guy is so bad. Okay, is he going to eat that? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you, just put the <laughs> you just put the Fisherman into the Valk shot, working at the tower, and the... <laughs> wow. What are you doing? <laughs> this guy is actually terrible. <laughs> I really, really don't like this guy. I'm going to have to BM him really, really hard after I beat him. <laughs> I'm going to go for a Valkyrie on both because it can kill this ghost. And then his queen actually won't kill my princess, which is great. Um going to be 1 HP, but if he abilities, I can just go for an E-Spirit. Okay, he goes for RG, so I'm going to barrel to bait out his log, and then I can defend his RG with guards. I'm going to pre-Tesla here, then I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to Princess in the corner here on the right, and then I'm going to go guards. I don't want to do them too early, because then he could snipe them with, like, a ghost or something, but he used it in the back, so I can, I'm just free to go for my guards, and then I could go for Valk here on this, uh, Fisherman and Ghost. I'm going to go for a Goblin Barrel here. Okay, goes for a queen. I'm gonna log this hunter. It's still gonna get a shot, but it sh I should be fine. Um, I'm gonna go for a princess here in front of my king tower. Then I could go for an e-spirit as well to help defend. And then I could go for a, a Valk on top of everything. Okay, um, this should get a bit of damage because he doesn't have log. Um, I don't want to rocket that. That's kind of aggressive. Okay, I can just go log here on this hunter and ghost and maybe my princess could connect if he's not, like, careful. Okay, nice. I, I get a princess shot as well. I'm going to E-Spirit down here just to try to keep my test. <laughs> what was that Archer Queen? <laughs> and Barrel here to try to bait up the log again. <laughs> what was that ability? <laughs> this guy is actually so bad. I'm going to go E-Spirit and log here. Then I could go for a Barrel on the tower. Um, doesn't have log in hand. Okay, he does a good Hunter E-Spirit. I'm not going to rocket that Hunter. That's still a bit aggressive. <laughs> that <laughs> this guy is so bad it has to be the worst player in clash rail log here he has log in hand so i'm gonna go like over here he'll probably miss because he's a god um okay somehow he managed to hit it um if he rg's the back i can rocket log twice <laughs> wow this guy is actually like yeah i don't think he made a single good play this entire match um because now I can just cycle back to my rocket and my log again. I'm going to start BMing him because this guy's an idiot. Um, and go E-Spirit Guards and then I can just rocket log the tower. He's probably going to get a, lo a, a lot of damage right here, but it doesn't matter because it's not going to take my whole tower. <laughs> that guy was... I don't even know what to tell that guy. <laughs> wow. That guy is something else. <laughs> wow. Oh, 7,600. Nice. I'm in the next game against this guy. I'm pretty sure he plays Sparky, so it should be a pretty easy matchup. So, I get some nice damage there with the Goblin Barrel, which is nice. I'm going to go for a log on the tower here. Um, I'm going to go for E-Spirit in the back, and then... 
Depending on... Okay, he went for a Sparky. I'm just going to go for a Princess here on the Sparky. Okay, he goes for arrows. Um, I kind of have to leak here until I can go for my guards. Don't really want to leak, but I don't have anything that's worth uh, cycling. So I'm just going to go with my guards here after leaking some elixir. And then I'm not going to go barrel straight away because he's just going to skeleton army on these guards. So he doesn't want to take the damage. So it'd be kind of a waste. So I'm just going to barrel on the left, actually. <laughs> what? You put bats on the wrong tower. <laughs> Okay, uh, I could just, like, E-Spirit in the back, um, yeah, I'm gonna E-Spirit in the back, and then, I'm gonna go for a Princess in the back as well, I'm gonna go Guards, okay, uh, terrible Guards, he's gonna activate the King now, that's unfortunate, <laughs> uh, that was a, that was where a giant graveyard player guards, he's gonna go for a Valve here on this mini P.E.K.K.A., then, Okay, he goes for a giant on defense. I'm going to barrel on the right. Um, I need to be careful because he might try to go for a horde. I'm going to go Tesla here. And then I'm going to log on the Skarmy. Okay, um, not sure what he's going to do here. I'm going to go guards at the bridge. Then E-Spirit. He might have given up actually because this is an impossible matchup. Um... He either gave up or he lagged out. I'm not really sure what happened. Um, I'm going to assume he gave up just because of the matchup, but he might have lagged out as well. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm going to keep this in the video because I'm not really sure if he lagged out or if he gave up. Um, I'll take the win, though. I'm happy with the win. Um, I, feel, I, I feel bad for this guy if he lagged out, but if I made him give up, then I guess I caught him good. <laughs> Um, because the reason I think he gave up is because this matchup is, like, impossible. And you can't really win from the Sparky side unless the Logbait player plays very bad. But I'll see you guys in the next match. I'm against this Korean guy in an Indian Life Clan. Um, I don't know why he's in an Indian Life Clan when he has a Korean name, but you do you, I guess. He's going to E-Spirit the back and Princess at the bridge because you need to pressure with your E-Spirit. Or else they will um, just activate their king. So you have to pressure. And that's also why you put it in the back. Because you need to give yourself time to pressure with it. Okay, he has Snowball. It's looking like a graveyard deck. Because he has um, Mega Minion, Snowball, and Zappy. So it's not RG because he has a Snowball. So I don't I don't think he has a Tornado as well. He, I think he has Snowball and Arrows. Because most graveyard decks that have a Snowball run Arrows with it. Not really Tornado. Yeah, so he does a great bowler there, giving me some damage. <laughs> um, I'm just going to E-Spirit here in the back, and then I could Princess on the right. Princessing opposite lane of the bowler so I can defend it with like a Valkyr Guards or something, depending on what he does. Okay, he goes for a Graveyard, so I'm just going to Valk, Log, okay. He tried to predict guards, that's why I logged first, because um, they usually go for a prediction on your guards. I'm going to go for a Barrel here, um... Okay, he goes for zappies. Um, I'm going to get some damage here, but not too much, unfortunately. Kind of sucks that he was able to do like those prediction arrows and kind of get bailed out still by zappies. I mean, it's fine though. I'm up damage and I have a princess down, so I should be able to get something here. He's probably going to go mega minion here on this princess. He goes for skeleton king. Um, I'm going to go for Valk on top here. Then, if he tombstones, I'm going to go for guards on the right side. Okay, he goes for tombstones, so I'm going to guards on the right, and then I'm going to go for goblin barrel as well. He's one card off. Okay, he's back now because he did that snowball, unfortunately, but I should still be fine because I'm up good damage, and I'm, I'm constantly baiting out his spells so he can never go in. He can only go in when he has his arrows in hand, or else it's just a bad play because then he can't kill my guards without his arrows. So, basically, my, my main, like play on defense is to pressure with the barrel and then I need to bait out the arrows and then defend with guards and if I don't I have to use my Valk. Okay um I rocketed those zappies because that one zappy is not really doing much so it's just a six for four and I get rocket damage so it's fine. I'm gonna print this in the back here and then I'm gonna go for a tesla towards the bowler. Tesla there on the bowler is pretty nice because it completely sh shuts him down and you can't really block that tesla with the card in the middle. Um, I can just go for a Valk 
Okay, yeah, I can go for a Valkyr, and then I can go for E-Spirit, and then second Princess. Um, I know these two Princesses are in the range of the arrows, but this Princess is kind of tied to the Zappies anyway, and I wasn't going to protect it, so all I'm doing is baiting out his arrows. Like, it looks like it was a good arrows, but once again, I'm stopping him from being able to make a push and go in. I'm going to go for a Barrel here. Okay, he does a good Skeleton King. I thought he was going to Bowler, that's why I put it there to try to get, uh, get some damage if he was slow. I'm going to go for a Princess here, and then I think I just have to cycle a Tesla. Yeah, I'm just going to cycle a Tesla here. I baited up the arrows again, so I can go for a Barrel once this crosses, because he does have Snowball, so I want it to be crossing first. Okay, he goes for Zappies. I'm going to Rocket these Zappies, because he did use 6 on that, and I I'm using 9, so I'm only down 3 for the Rocket damage, but I'm going to be d defending this Bowler for cheap as well. Um, I'm going to let the Bowler connect. And just go for a princess on it. I'll probably only take one or two hits. Um, I'm going to go for a Tesla here in the middle this time. Because the bowler is all the way in the corner. Um, I'm going to go for a barrel in the back here. Okay, he goes for zappies. Oh, wait, that skeleton king went all the way back. I'm going to rocket this again. Um, that's a pretty nice rocket there. Getting the skeleton king in the zappies. Um, I'm going to go for princess here. Go for guards on the bowler. And I could go for a Tesla on this bowler. Then I could go for a barrel to apply some pressure. I'm going to go for Snow uh, E-Spirit, I mean. And I can log guards. He doesn't have arrows in hand, so that graveyard's not going to get any damage. I'm going to quickly go for a barrel. And then, okay, Tombstone. Okay, nice. That's a rocket range, so that's going to be game. That guy didn't play the best, but I played pretty good as well. Constantly baiting up the arrows so he can never really make a push. GG to that guy, I guess. I'm in the next match against Melody. Um... I'm just going to go for a log on the left, and I hope I have my E-Spirit next so I can activate my King. Okay, I don't have E-Spirit, unfortunately, so I just have to go for a Valk here. That, that was pretty unlucky. I logged there on the left because I wanted to go Princess plus E-Spirit to activate my King against him. Um, it would have been nice to be able to activate my King, but I didn't have my E-Spirit in my first f three cards. So I unfortunately had it fourth, so I wasn't able to activate my King. So I'm just down a, a quite a bit of elixir right now, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to go for barrel here on this uh, drill. Take a bit of damage, but I guess it's fine because I did defend. Okay. Um, not off to the greatest start because I have a bad cycle and I'm low on elixir. Um, I don't want to do anything on that. I, I didn't even want to princess because if I princessed it, then he would just band it at the bridge. And then I'd have to use my Valk and then I wouldn't have anything for his... Ghost and his archer, uh, archer queen, and then if I used my log, then I wouldn't have anything for the next drill because you end up having to use your log a lot on either actual cards or the drill because they have so much spam cards that you're constantly having to waste everything. I'm gonna go for Valkyrie, I'm gonna have to eat the fire spirit again, unfortunately. Fire spirit, in my opinion, does way too much damage, like it's like more than a fireball for one elixir, it's kind of crazy. I'm gonna go for. Actually, okay. I'm not going to go for a barrel because I need to defend. I'm going to go Tesla here on this bandit. And I think I have to E-Spirit this queen as well. So I'm going to go E-Spirit here. And, okay, it gets no hits, which is nice. This is going to be pretty hard to come back. I'm going to have to rocket cycle, I think, because I'm not really going to break through with any cards, I don't think. I'm going to go for a barrel here on the left. Um, I'm not going to rocket that ghost, actually. I kind of want to, but I don't think it's worth it. If he does something on the left, I'll rocket it, because I don't want to be going same lane as him. I kind of want to be going opposite lane. If he puts anything on the left, I guess I'll rocket it. Okay, he put the bandit. I'm going to just rocket the bandit, because I want him to focus on one lane. And I also um, want to be going opposite lane of him, so my princesses can stack up into a lane that he has to defend. Okay, um... I can go for a barrel here. He doesn't have, like, snowball or anything. He goes for a ghost. Wait, I, I can get a nice rocket here. I'm going to rocket all of that. Great rocket there, and now I'm up in damage. But I don't think I will be for long. I have to ignore that fire spirit again, unfortunately. It's like the third one. That's like 900 damage or something from fire spirit. It's kind of crazy. He messed up his snowball there, but just like that, he's, like, already the same as me in damage, pretty much. And fortunately, he's going to activate the king as well, so... Now it's going to be like nearly impossible to get damage, which uh, sucks. I'm going to go for a princess here on this ghost. I'm going to go for a tesla as well, just to cycle. Okay, drill. Um, I'm going to go to Valk here. 
I'm gonna go guards here to protect this uh, princess. Then I could go for a barrel, I guess, as well. I'm gonna go for an e-spirit here, and then I can just cycle Tesla in the middle again. I'm not really worried about that left side. I'm fine with ghost getting shots and stuff. I'm gonna Valk here on this drill, and then... Okay, the bandit goes to the Valk as well, which is great. He's, he's slowly catching up in damage, though. It gets super close right now. I'm gonna go for a barrel down here. Maybe he misses and I get some damage. Um, okay, he doesn't miss. I'm gonna go for a Tesla here. Then I'm gonna go for guards. Okay, I need to Valk on this ghost, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna barrel on this uh, drill. Then, okay, I actually caught that. I'm gonna go for log as well. Okay, he's, he, he got a goblin hit still, which is not good. I need to start rocket cycling, I think. I'm gonna rocket the tower right now. Okay, I'm gonna go guards here, then I can go for Valk on this drill. I'm gonna log it because he might snowball. And then I need to go for like a E Spirit here, then I can Tesla in front of the tower. Okay, I'm gonna guards down low, then I'm gonna barrel on this bandit. It's starting to pressure on both sides. I need to go for a Valk, I think. No, I can't. I need to go for Princess, then I can go Valk on this drill, then and and the guards up top, he's gonna snowball, so I need to use them to catch the goblins okay i need to rocket the tower and then i need to defend this drill somehow um he goes for drill i just need to log and okay i don't think that's enough okay nice wow that was a super close game i'm gonna bm this guy as well because he bm me last time and i don't really like when people bm me so i always make sure to bm them back um thank you guys for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed and let me know what log bait version you want me to see in the next um, episode to 8K. Bye.